Michelin have just released their brand new range of power road tyres and we're here at Michelin HQ to see how they were developed and to ride them on the test track. Just set out on a lap, got a pair of power competition tyres on, the idea is we go two laps of the test track with power competition on, try and keep the pace at 180 watts and then once we've finished two laps with power competition the mechanics are going to put a pair of Michelin Pro 4s on do another two laps and then we're going to go compare the output with the new power competition tyres and the old Pro 4. There are three tyres in the power range, power competition for road racing, power endurance for sportive riding and power all season for winter riding. As well as improved grip and puncture protection, Power Competition offers a 25% reduction in rolling resistance. That's equivalent to a saving of 10 watts. After two years of development and 200,000 kilometers of real world riding, Michelin say that the new power range sets a benchmark in the road tire market. Just struggling up the hill. Wind in my face. Pretty sure I'll be all right though. Yeah, it's a beautiful day here in Clermont Ferrand, as you can see. This is one of a, a few test tracks Michelin have got. We were over at a test track this morning where they do wet testing. Their cars saw a fella go around on a bike an electric bike. Little fella just overtook me. Thinks he's in the Tour de France. He's not. We're down to 165 watts. Better put it up. What about a song? For sportive riders, Power Endurance uses a newly developed puncture resistant construction. It offers better grip and saves 8.6 watts per pair of tyres. Power All Season uses a new rubber compound and tread design resulting in a super grippy puncture resistant package for slippery winter rides. Right, we're going to keep it at 180 watts again. They've swapped the tyres. This time, we're riding with the old Michelin Pro 4s, so we'll see what difference it makes. Down the hill we go, with the wind on our backs, the sun shining. It's a cameraman. I hope he gets my best sight. This is part of many test tracks, basically like being in an airport. That's the kind of scale we're talking about. It's more Michelin City than Michelin HQ. By the time the new campus is finished, they say 6,000 people will be working in there. So when you've got that might behind the company, even though cycling products aren't their biggest product, you know you're onto a good thing if you've got that power behind you. The support, the R&D, the technologies, that's the kind of thing you've got to think about. Finishing the timed lap now, 184 watts. Got to push the stopwatch.
So after riding the track with both Pro 4 and the new power tyres, data from 30 of the riders was downloaded from our Garmin devices. Up until now, we'd relied on Michelin's own test data, so it was amazing to see that the average for the group of riders was 18 seconds faster on the new tyre. It's difficult to argue that the new power competition tyre isn't quicker than its predecessor. If you're looking for a new tyre for speed, distance or all-weather riding, the new Michelin Power Range has you covered. Michelin say that the Power Range sets a new standard in the road tyre market. What qualities do you look for in a new road tyre? Let us know in the comments section below.